folks. Man, man, like he lasts for <clears throat> Modern Boros Energy Challenge. That's right. I hope you guys are excited for it. Um, this is the list of movie points. The list I've done really well this week. Got a 5 0 trophy with it. Hopefully, uh, continues to do well. Um, real quick here. Uh, if you're watching this, please consider uh, following me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and of course, subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up on YouTube. That'd be really awesome. Um, hopefully, this thing will fire. I would assume it will. We got some time before it does. Um, you know, hoping to do well with this deck. Uh, you know, it's done good this week. Um, you know, we'll just, you know, that never always translates over, and hopefully it does. Um, you know, I, I hope you guys are excited for it. Uh, and we get ready to join me for uh, round number one. Get hyped. All right, guys, here we go for round number one. Yeah, I'm going to go first. Whenever the opponent shows up, of course. There he is. It looks like it probably is the Boros Energy Mirror Match right off the bat. I'll keep. All right, let's get this party started. Maybe it's Mardu. Oh, yeah. Okay, Dash Ragavan? I, I think so. Now these challenges are probably the problem is you sit here and the opponent's completely tapped out, there's nothing they can do, and you just sit and wait. You still some good. You guide us old. Aha! There we go. I will play that. Thank you very much. Man, my back is kind of bugging me. I don't really know why. Back. I'll be okay. They put one car on top. For one, all right, missed my third land, but what can I tell you? Might be a flage on top. Yeah. 
That's what I figured. Absolutely. If I get a basic planes here, I'll blood moon them. I still might blood moon them. We got red. I mean, obviously, we're swinging in here. Go of four. Bloodstained Mire. All right. Hopefully no, uh, yeah, no basic planes there. What is this? Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> Why would there be anything other than uh, one rings here? We know they have no, I mean, I've never seen a Mardu list play, you know, basic swamp. Maybe this guy does. I don't know. Pretty close to dead. Gotta have like galvanic blasts or galvanic discharges and lightning bolts and stuff. All right, there we go. Taking down Mardu Energy. It's our friend Blood Moon. Now, what's sad is you know you should take out Blood Moon for sure in this matchup. Like, it, it just it really you got to like because the, they're too smart. They'll get around Blood Moon. They may be playing Blood Moon themselves on the side. So you just got to do that. Just checking on something real quick here. Okay. All right. So it's the same thing. You got a couple Blood Moons. They got a couple of Ragavans. Bring in Chain to the Rock and Raven Charm. There you go. Wow, seven lands. I think that's a mulligan, guys. I, I don't think it's very good to keep seven lands. This is a little bit better. Yeah, I guess I can put Static Prison on bottom.
Oosh. Go that thing. What's their follow up? Probably just another one. Maybe it's a sun cleanser. I don't know. Uh, an amp raptor. Hope he misses. Ah, he did not miss. He got probably the best one, Johnny. Okay. There's Chain to the Rocks, but I think I want to get some Guida Souls going here. Now take a little bit of beating. That's okay. The only one I get super punishers, he has a goblin bombardment. Probably just a flage. This isn't good either. Here. So I gotta save the chain of the rocks for. Oh, this is an interesting play. I, I wouldn't have done this. I would have swung with those. Like I don't really know what the point of that was. Because now he's gonna kill with flage. That's seventeen. Going to fifteen off the sacred foundry. Only more Sacred Founder. Hopefully he doesn't have Blood Moon himself this time. I Man, it wouldn't be that bad for me. <sighs> yeah, I like uh, Flaging. The Johnny. Assume Flage is coming. Yeah, this this is really bad. And the only good thing about this is maybe he'll have to use both Flage's triggers on my on my guy to souls. This isn't good. I mean, he's gonna gain go up to nineteen. I'm gonna take ten. Go to nine. Pretty rough. Really need to find like an Ajani of my own. They're down to five. That's that one on top. Yeah, that's really bad. Uh, oh, shit, yeah.
All right, just the one singular fetch land here for a basic planes, and I might be able to come back. Okay. It's an ocelot pride. That's six, basically. Block here. I live. There's a shot. Two, four, five, I go up to six with the first strike. Oh, I totally fucked up. I was supposed to let it die. Yeah, I was supposed to let it die. Okay, I messed up there. That was really stupid. Yeah, I blocked the wrong creature. Just to block anything other than that one. Could have been the same result, right? Yeah. Maybe I could have come back. I don't know. I doubt it against the one ring. How about that Mardu playing one ring, right? That's how good that card is. Even in Mardu. Dogs are awake. They're barking now. It's okay, they just want to play. All right, well, I mean... I don't want to play Amp Raptor into Static Prison because if I find a Chain of the Rocks, it's so bad. Fatal push. Oh. Okay. 
First time I use Elegant's Parlor. Lightning bolt, I like that. Need to use this. You showed Sun Cleanser, you got to use this like now. Not showing any red mana yet. Sun Cleanser is kind of a going away card. Like it was like everywhere, but I think it might be coming back again. It, it was like disappearing, but then it's like, oh, here it is again. <clears throat> the One Ring. Great. That's totally fair and fine. At least he used all his energy for that. So that's awesome. Huh, sense nothing. Interesting. That's bullshit. That's absolute fucking bullshit. He'll probably have a galvanic discharge here. Or not. Huh. All right. Yeah, I mean, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. So fucking ridiculous one ring bullshit, man. What a bunch of assholes came up with that card, like for real. Like, I, I, I have to try and find. I think I think something off of Amped Raptor. Oh, yes, yes. I mean, I should lose this game. Right? I mean, I should lose the game. <laughs> like, I can't compete with this. Like, it's not even close. <laughs> like, the game's completely over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just so done.
yeah man it is super over it's hilarious how this game works it's like you're just so dead all the time Okay, let's see which one he targets. What's he targeting? That one? That's not too bad. What do we do here? See if I die. See if I die. <clears throat> You're on four cars this turn. I mean, how do you compete with this, right? You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's so, you're just so dead whenever this happens. It's like such a disgraceful thing. I mean, it really is. I mean, when you look at this, you just, you can't believe that they designed a card like this. Like, you just can't. What assholes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this guy's not better than me. He has the one ring. And that's all there is to it. Like everybody knows that, right? Everybody, everybody knows that, you know, if you have the one ring, you're immediately an unskilled player. I mean, that's what it comes down to, is you're extremely unskilled. Because you rely on the card. I mean, we, we're we dealing with extremely unskilled players at a rate we've never dealt with this before. We just never have. Like, this has never happened in the history of the game, in my opinion, where we have a card that's just so dumb that people just do whatever the fuck they want with it. I mean, it's, like, absolutely insane, you know? Like, that's why, you know, you really can't take this format very seriously. We have a really, really bad format. And it's not going to get any better for probably a very long time. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, if I kill that, they're just enough to kill anyway, so. Do that. Unskilled format. I mean, really, that's what it comes down to, is we're dealing with a very unskilled format. You know, people aren't playing off their own abilities. 
they're playing off the one ring and the one ring lets them you know uh, just uh, you know draw I mean how many cards are you drawing five nine 12, 14, 15 cards off that. You know, 15. And you know, I did miss up in game two. So, but I don't have the one ring to back me up. You know. Looks like he's got all of his black cards. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Um, I mean, the one ring, I mean, I'm not going to be able to beat that. Like, I just, I'm not going to be able to. I have to draw Static Prison immediately. That's the one problem with having uh, Chain to the Rocks on the side instead of the Static Prison. But sometimes Chain to the Rocks is a lot better than Static Prison. You know, it it can work really well. Um, so, all right, guys, it's probably going to be a day of just nothing but one rings. I'm playing in a challenge. After all, people are only going to show up here, and they're only going to play the one ring. I mean, you, you really cannot win without the one ring anymore, um, you know, in a challenge or an RCQ or anything like that. So, you know, thanks, guys. Join me for round number two. Hit high for one rings. All right, guys, here for round number two. Uh, hopefully I can turn this around. You know, challenges have been historically like the worst part of my uh, MTG career, like even worse than RCQs and PTQs. Well, what do you know? I got the buy. So, uh, well. Yes! Yeah! It hurt my pleas, or not really my pleas, but me saying, man, RCQs are just not really our challenges is my worst part of my career is the guy will give him a bye well you know so i guess all right so cool sweet um all right well join me for round number three get hype all right guys here we go for round number three got my free win last round i must be punished for that i'm sure that i'm just gonna get slaughtered here in round three because like you didn't earn that last win boy Gotta earn them to get them. You know, so we'll see. All right. Yeah, I'm going first. This is a guy exactly one spot above me. I'll keep. All right, here we go. Crypt of Agadium. Interesting. Only shenanigans can happen from here. 100% truth. Cat down. All right, let's get an elegant parlor here. See what's coming on in. Another flage. I'll put that on top. I mean, it's just it, the flage is just so good. It's, just, it, it's tough to go wrong with flage, you know. I mean, like for real.
Yeah, I'll attack with both. If he wants to trade with the 1-1, one, one, that's fine. Let's put it on that. Doesn't make any sense, though. Nope, fix it all. What a Maya. Okay, this card really confused me earlier, so I need to read this thing. It says, Exile one target card from a graveyard. Whenever one or more plus one plus ten from an Emperor bonus, we appreciate sure exiles with it. Okay, so we just need to kill it. That's free. Just kill this thing. Swing for four again. I mean, does block. Give it a 12. Go from there. Yep. Here goes my graveyard. All right. Get another elegant parlor. See what's happening. Back and going graveyard. Get an onslaught pride. All right, swing for three. Put at nine. Play bombardment. Make more cats. See what happens here. Is he just going to use this to remove the counters? I am not a target permanent, so they can't remove him from me. My, my, uh, I forgot that Hexmage has Hex Strike. Our first trait, Hex Strike. All right. That's like outrageously good. Okay. Um,. All right, so what is happening here? I don't even know. Um, I think Chain to the Rocks could be decent. And maybe even Thraven Charm. I'm going to leave one. I'm going to leave Blood Moon in just because they had some kind of scary lands there. 
I think I can take out Ragavans because they have Bowmasters. And. I don't even know. Maybe one bombardment. I mean, clearly they have some sort of combo. They have Hex Mage. You only have that card if it's if it's something like really good you can do. This is not the most exciting hand, but I don't think it's worth throwing back. But yeah, that doesn't help at all. Probably just going to get absolutely blasted by uh, um. Bowmasters here. Yeah, they always have it. Anytime you're playing against the black uh, deck, they they will have um they will have bowmasters. It's like a guaranteed fact. It's really strange how it's so guaranteed, but it is guaranteed. Yeah. Big Stitcher Supplier. The hex maze must be for the 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 whatever it is must be for that. So they can remove the counters off it. All right. Five mana here. That's getting killed. A little bit of help, Deck. A little bit of help. That's not help. <laughs> I, I have, I, oh no, I drew the Ajani. Okie doke. Okie doke. Okie doke.
this thing net them four. We'll kill that one too. Okay, nothing's been exiled. He just wants me to use all my energy. Get it out of here. Close to dead here. Another Johnny. I guess we'll put it on top. I mean, it's better than me putting it in a graveyard and then drawing a land. Right? Wow. Just how do you stop people when they just continue to draw the same card over and over again? I mean, how do you how do you stop that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I dude, I killed two of these and that's all I was able to do like absolutely insane that unable to find anything um I don't think I want to overdo into that I still think blood moon's fine I, I just don't see a reason to chain of the rocks is a little suspicious because well, I mean I really can't do anything better than it right because I just have to find ways to kill. Uh, exile the graveyard and kill Emperor Bones. That's all I can do. I can't keep one Landers. I think I can do better. No, I do worse. Unbelievable. 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 It's absolutely disgusting, you know? Like, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? I mean, maybe you're supposed to keep that one lander. I don't know. I always think that you have a better shot at doing something. I'll draw that land. I mean, it's not great, but I need to make sure that I can cast Blage. They're probably pretty confused that I just play a land pass or putting some on top. Static prison? 
I don't know if that's any good. And I guess put it on top. And we'll just sit here. I need to kill Emperor Bones. Get the top deck Blood Moon. I would assume they have a Bowmasters here. Or a Fatal Push at the very least. Yeah, just Ocelot Pride is so bad against these mono black decks. It's like actually almost unplayable. I mean, there's just nothing I can do. I mean, I guess I just say I I cannot I cannot risk having the uh, the Emperor Bones. I, you know, I just have to draw one more land here. I think. Yeah, I just not really working. You know. Just, I can't tap out. Relatively unplayable games, you know? I can bolt this thing, though. Sure. So he's just going to target his own to have this so I don't gain the life? Yeah. Mother motherfucker. It's just ridiculous. 
like just dead, just so dead just that i don't even know what to say you know he's just, just so dead all the time like huh to Orcish Bowmasters. And the game should be over here, because I'm sure he's holding at least three to four copies of Emperor of Bones. Wow! <laughs> Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, I can't beat this guy at all. I mean, for real, it's just over. Completely over. Wow. Well, you know, mold of five. I mean, both games I played against this guy, they were horrible, right? I mean, I had to mold a five. Just really unfun games. Just games where you just, you cannot win. So there's to it. Yeah, well, that was a waste, a massive waste of time. I mean, I, I don't know what else to tell you guys. It was just a huge waste of my life, you know? I mean, I did nothing the entire both games. I just sat here and did nothing both games. Like, it's actually pretty insane how poor the deck functioned. Like, I did I mess up anywhere? I guess I should have mold heavier. I, should, I guess I should have mold down to, like, two or something. I don't know, but... All right, guys, well, that was horrible. Um... I, I don't think I played one card that was, like, offensively orientated, right? I think I played, like, an Ocelot Pride in both games, and I just died instantly to Bowmasters. I mean, that's the problem with Ocelot Pride. Bowmasters still exists, you know? It's over to that thing. Um, Bowmasters is extremely good. Died to it every time. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, join me for round number four. Get hype. All right, guys, we'll get back in here for round four. Uh, can't go much worse than that. That was just really sad. He always sucks to lose games where he's just, you know, you only get lands. Try to move on. That's all you can ever do. See how long it takes this guy to show up. All right, guys. There we go. Yeah! So far, both my wins have been from non-playing games. Opponent never showed up. Whatever. You know, two buys. Same, same challenge, sure. I, I guess we'll take it. Uh, you know, hopefully I can get half my money back out of this thing. That'd be great. All right, guys. Well, uh, join me to on uh, round number five. Everyone, get high. All right, guys. Here for uh, round number five. See if I can actually play somebody. <clears throat> half my matches have been against non-opponents. So that's why currently two and two. Uh, yeah, I like to play. That's a mulligan. It's like literally unplayable. This is playable.
I guess I'll keep. Oh, I guess I'll bottom static prison. His opponent here. God, I hope so. I guess we're waiting again. Oh my god, there's an opponent. I'm going to keep. This is my... An extremely slow opponent. Which will be very painful to deal with. As always. Thing for one. Put it on top, whatever it is. Must be like ghoul aggro. Oh no, it's storm. Oh god. Oh god, my hand's so bad against storm right now. Lord no. <laughs> Alright, well Blood Moon's like pretty much dead. Eh. We'll put that on top. I'm going to try and kill the Rawl with Galvanic Discharge, and then just keep things going. Oh, soon this is going to happen here, they're going to play Rawl. Very will first. Oh, it's actually even worse. Might just be dead. Rawl's like a 1 3, isn't he? Yeah. Hefty boy. Yep. He won that flip, but Rawl's not there no more. All right. Take it away, opponent. Destroy me. All right. Game's over. Oh, 
Lost the flip. Lost the flip. Lost the flip. Lost the flip. <laughs> oh, man. Won the flip. There we go. He got it. Oh. Hmm. All right, uh, Deafening Silence, Dranith Magistrate in, and Thraven Charm. Obviously, Blood Moons are out, and probably all Flages out. I mean, they're so slow. I don't think they're doing anything. Plus, I, well, Dranith Magistrate says opponent can't, but I still can, I guess. Take them out. They're so slow. They're so slow against the opponent. Galvanic discharge is fine because you can still kill the uh still kill the uh rolls. Well, maybe I should take a couple of these out and bring in the wear tears. I'll try that. Oh, Jesus. I'd like to find a creature, like a threat. Okay, I'd like to find a threat and land. How about that? Can we do that, deck? Threats and lands. All right, there we go. There. Oops. I'm going to put out Ragavan first. The faster clock, still relevant cards. All right, swing for two. Get a basic mountain. I'm going to hold on to Dranith for a second. Put an arid mace in the graveyard. Of course, this is a raw and it's totally destroyed. Because I wouldn't be able to attack. All right. Elegant parlor in here. Sure, I'll put on top. All right. Swing for three. Get 
get a Rawl, which Rawl says costs less. Yeah, I don't need that. Um, now, do I want to do I want to risk putting out Dran at the Magistrate? You know. Right now, he can't do anything. I think I'm just gonna do this because right now, I don't know. We'll see. Because he can't cast Past in Flames yet. If he puts out a uh, out a Ruby artifact or whatever, Ruby Medallion, I can kill that still. All right, see if I lose here. Yeah, it looks like I lost. Great. What is with guys having multiples of everything? <laughs> I guess I needed to play uh, Dranith Magistrate. Oh, why didn't I? Well, because I was a f I, one. I didn't expect to have double Ruby Medallion. I'll be honest with you. I just didn't see that. I expected him more to have a sweeper than to have Ruby Medallion for the way he was playing. He was playing pretty slow. He didn't play. He didn't play a raw or nothing. So I figured he had like some sort of sweeper, like Anger of the Gods, Brothers End, or something. You know, I didn't expect him just to have double Ruby Medallion. I'm gonna get totally fucked by it. So it's just over. <laughs> the game's done. <laughs> Unbelievable. Man, oh man. I, I I don't know what, I mean, yeah, I guess I should have played Dranith. I, I guess I should have said they have it, they have it. I still would have lost, I guess. I don't know. It's just really bad. It's just really, really bad. Really, 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 really bad. Just unbelievably bad. I just can't believe it. He had Pyroclasm there, but he got it off the, he, he wouldn't be able to cast it. So yeah, I, I totally fucked up and, you know, I guess, yeah, I guess, you know, 100% my fault, you know, that's why I'm a scrub player, that's why I can't ever do well on these, it's just why I can never do well on challenges, they're just, they're too difficult for me, they're just too challenging for me, I am not at the skill level of playing challenges, they are the toughest thing in the game to play, they're tougher, I'm serious, they are tougher than RCQs, R PTQs, and RCs, you go to, you fly out to an RC, you have a better chance of doing well at that than you do on a challenge, challenges are by far, are the most challenging thing you'll play like i've never ever been able to do well on them it's so frustrating oh well guys who cares let's move on uh join me for round number uh six ringing my ass beat again uh get high all right guys here we go again for round six see if i can't actually beat somebody today i'm technically two and three but i haven't beaten anyone yet so might be one of them days i'm telling you these challenges are just always just they don't really work for me All right, yeah, I'm gonna go first. Yes, I'll kill that. For a second, I got confused. Uh, oh, I'll just get a sacred boundary. <laughs> At least the opponent appears to be here. Maybe. I may have spoke too soon. Nope, he's here. All right. All right. Okay, probably some sort of Golgari. Um, graveyard.
Depending on how good grave crawler is, like it's just Oh yeah, it's that Golgari grave stuff. Yep. Okay. Um well I guess I'll get a basic planes. Little Galvanic Discharge here. We'll swing with everybody. So a total of what, five? We'll play Goblin Bombardment. Zero. All right, already done. Okay, so uh, probably Dranith Magistrate isn't half bad, right? And then Thraven Charm, because they need to get Grave Crawlers out. Um, Blood Moon's probably maybe still okay. Um, are Ragavans any good? Because like I know they have Grave Crawlers, but they also probably have Bow, bow Masters and such. I think I could probably take out grave crawlers. Uh, you take out one blood moon. They're mostly black, but I, I, you can get them off the Phyrexian Tower. So let's try that. I mean, Chain of the Rocks. I mean, I guess it's a little bit slow sometimes. So is Static Prism. I don't know. I, I think it's better to try because their their combo is to get. I have to mold this. Their combo is to get um, the Soul Herd or whatever it's called. And uh, I got to mold this. We're going to five. Not a good day for uh, for top decking. Wow. Holy crap, man. Well, I'm going to keep. I'm going to put a Johnny on the bottom. And then I'm going to put, a, I think, Flage on the bottom. I guess. I'll probably melee top deck a uh, Arid Mesa. Which would still be fine. We'll take an Arid Mesa. Gravecrawler. That's an Aether Hub. Well, that could be okay for Amp Raptor. I think I actually just have to kill this. Like, they they could have the soul trader here. Want to make sure they do that when they attack, or they're already attacking, because then they won't be able to uh, use a lot of their uh, blue mana. That ain't happening. Thoughtsies? Oh my god, again, guys! 
What's with the duplicates of everything? <laughs> That's insane. I cannot believe that they had they had dupes again. <laughs> it's just how do you stop somebody from doing that? How do people always have multiple of the cards they need? Like not even like okay, here I have Galvanic Discharge and Lightning Bolt. They're kind of duped. They're kind of the same card, but they literally have two on Earth. <laughs> just like insane. Like I don't know how guys do that stuff. Yeah, absolutely insane. One hundred percent insane. One billion percent insane. Like I, I don't even know. I don't even get it. I don't even get it. I guess I should have just let them all attack and not. I mean, I don't know. Well, who makes those plays? Who the hell makes those plays? How can you be that psychic? Is what I'm always trying to figure out. Really surprised on fatal pushes. It's like a win win there. Leave that on top. Remember when they brought on Earth into modern people thought it was gonna like be so insane. And like it was good. Wow, psychic frog. How do you defeat something like this? Probably just gotta put that in graveyard.
fucked. I mean, I don't think I can beat this guy. I guess we just hang out. I mean, I don't know. I mean, he can exile three cards. I don't know if he wants to do that. Got Toxic Deluge. <laughs> That's like insane. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Now I draw a Thraven Charm. Uh, I guess I'm not going to win this one either. Yeah. I just don't know what to do. I guess make him discard a card. I'd never seen this deck with this card before. I didn't expect it at all. Eight energy. I'm going to say no.
like organic discharge, you just make it a 10 toughness. I guess we just take it. Now I'm starting to look like that guy I played against the other day. Oh my god. Yeah, that was stupid of me. I should have, uh... I should have, uh, exiled this graveyard. I can't find another land for Flage. I don't know what to do, guys. I, I, I played so badly. You know, these challenges are just so poor for me. <sighs> I just have seen cards I'm not used to seeing. I've heard an Oculus. I mean, if I swing here, this only becomes a 3, 4. It dies to this, and I just lose everything. I I don't know. I, I don't know, guys. I, I, I literally want to cry. Because I, I can't figure this out. Like, I can't, I can't figure it out. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do this. I, I can't do this, guys. Three, four, five, ten, eleven, thirteen. So I'll just take it. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. 
It's doing me like zero good here. What happened? What did he turn up? What happened? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you gain one life. That's what I thought. I thought I said gain one life. Alright. I can't beat anyone. I can't beat anyone. I mean, I don't know what the deal is when I play these challenges are. I, I literally can't beat a single person. I may actually play this whole thing out, and there's only 11 people that weren't going to get anything back, and I may be one of them. I may be one of them, and I play this whole thing out, and I may be one of them that doesn't. I mean, I can't beat anybody. I don't understand what happened. I don't know, guys. It, that's why I shouldn't play challenges. It just makes me really depressed. You know, I, I feel really bad whenever I play them. Just day ruined. You know, you wake up early, day ruined. So there's two. All right, round number seven. Good hack. All right, guys. Here we go over the last round. It looks like no matter what I do, I should be able to get at least half my points back. Um, because there's only one guy below me that that's still playing. I'll probably have to play him. And everybody else that's below me, they can increase their points. So I should, you know, maybe I should get 150 points. So that's that's cool. Yep, played in Karn the Gray. Gandalf the Gray, Gandalf the White, and Gandalf the Chartreuse. Delon takes for Karn the Gray to show up. Do you think he's running Tron or... I'm sort of Tron. If he's not, I'll be honestly disappointed, but I'll also be really, you know, it, like I said, I put those. I put the fourth Obsidian Charma in, and I haven't played against one Tron the entire week. It's pretty interesting. Oh, good, my opponent's already disconnected. Well, we'll see, guys. We'll find out if there's someone else for me to play. Well, what do you know? Looks like opponent might be here. Uh, I'm going to keep. They're probably shocked that they're still playing. They're still getting to play somebody. 
Hopefully I can beat this guy just so I can say I beat somebody today. <laughs> like legitimately. Looks like it's Demir Murkine. Throw out Bloodstained Mars. He doesn't he doesn't suspect I might be energy on a Giganta. So he might be like, oh, I don't know. He put, I didn't even know he was force negation in the graveyard. Remember how insane this card was when it first showed up? Put Fatal Push in. It looks like there's probably a Spell Snare waiting for my Ajani. <clears throat> But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Going in the graveyard. Blood Moon might be alright. Might be able to get him with a Blood Moon. Oh, wow, it actually made it in. Kind of. <laughs> I got a two one out of there. A Johnny halfway in. I'm going to fetch for a um, <clears throat> Sacred Foundry here. Or maybe I actually get a Mountain. I guess I'll go for a Mountain. That way in case he does, like, um, uh, negate the Blood Moon, I can still have enough red to cast all the cards in my hand. All right, well, I guess that's a little bit different. I've actually never seen Sink the Soup into Super played that way before. I've only ever seen it used as a land. So, all right. Is this a uh, Murktide? Oh, it's this card again. He's got like force negation or something. It was another eye, so it's nice. Got to kill that thing. That's the thing, is it, it doesn't need to be cast. People abhorn Oculus, and it manifests another an, uh, abhorn Oculus. It's, like, totally fucked. What the hell? What the fuck? That's insane. What the fuck, man? Well, I guess we just 
can pull. Bolt there. I mean, yeah, that works. <clears throat> Got him empty handed at least. That doesn't make any sense for me to block. If, if, if I double block, he can just discard and become a 3-4 and he'll kill everything. So, no, no block. Probably don't want it. Yeah, it says at any time. So you you can you can do this. At, turn this creature face up at any time for its mana cost. So yeah, if. <clears throat> If I hit this, I wonder what the fuck that is. I'm just afraid if I hit it. It would transform and it would lose the target. Thought scour in his graveyard. What is going on here? Clearly really excited for something.
Yeah, it's probably wrong too, because he can just he can double block. Yeah, so I guess I won't attack. I was thinking about attacking with an Amped Raptor, but if I do that, he can double block and pump it. And then I'd only be able to kill like this. Which I don't really want to... I think one of the ways I have a way out here is to maybe do Goblin Bombardment. You know, maybe... Gonna be close. And then I have ability to give them flying, so I can block these things to prevent them from drawing cards. Okay, go to block. And then you can't you cannot do like first strike. Okay, now I'm going to do second strike. You got to do these now.
They're like really close. Five. Yeah, I gotta do some blocking here. I mean, I still might die. All right, five, seven. I put up to nine, eleven. It'd be really close. I think he miscalculated. All right, see if he's got it. Oh, he didn't. He didn't have it. Wow. He did not have a counter spell. Oh, wow. All right. Well, shit. I can't believe that. Um, okay. Um, and that won't work. Thraven Charm is definitely good. Chain of the Rock. Definitely good. Uh, Ragamans are horrible because they have Bowmasters. And... I guess I'll take out a, well, maybe I should take out a Lightning Bolt. Or Galvanic Discharge. Uh, I hate taking out Lightning Bolts because they're just ways to win games sometimes. I'll be stupid and take out Galvanic Discharge, all right? <laughs> I still like the one Blood Moon in. Or the two blood moons then. Sure. So the thing with Oculus, I gotta remember they gotta exile six cards from the graveyard. As soon as they get to six, like as soon as they get to like four or five, you just gotta exile the graveyard, right? It's six cards, right? Delve six, I think. I don't remember. Well, that doesn't look suspicious at all.
So they want to counter this, but they also want to bow masters this. So they got to pick which one they want to keep or which one they don't want me to have. All right, it looks like it might be, well, since it resolved, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's just all of it, huh? Loot Delta and Graveyard. Toxic Deluge. Different Deluge. Listening Deluge. All right, there's Thraven Charm. So I think I'm just going to do it now. There you go. Wow. Where the fuck did that come from? Well, that's not getting killed the rest of the game. Oh, only that at haste. So yeah, I mean, this is just, uh, I, I don't know if he'll attack with this, the rest of the, oh, he's going in. All right, I mean, I literally can't block this with anything in the game. I guess he's just hoping to find ways to kill. Put Phyrexian, another Phyrexian Crusader in the graveyard. Oh. No. Oh. Tally ho. Okay, um so this is really bad. Um I get flying to one. None of nine.
That's six poison. If I can get another land here, I might be able to win the game. He doesn't put out any flyers or anything. That's like the worst card I could have drawn. Like it literally is actually the worst card I could have drawn. <sighs> so if I go, this right here is six. This is enough for a lightning bolt. I can't galvanic discharge anything. Well, I mean, yeah, you just swing here. Yeah, I can't galvanic discharge anything. All right, let's see if I can get this. I thought maybe he'd flash in a Bowmasters. Do Bombardment. Right, here we go. It's time for perhaps a, a disrespectful end step lightning bolt. Did I get there? Does he have Spell Pierce? Spell Pierce? Force negation, he showed that. Well, I guess uh, we just hang out. I'm guessing this is probably going to go through, especially when people get, you know, they're, they're probably typing me a message. Yeah, I can't do anything. The reason I have my chat always like disabled like that is because people uh, used to send me really angry messages and they try to bait me into saying something. So I just, nope, you can't chat to me. And I know that's been a real detriment. I know a lot of people want to chat to me and all that stuff, but maybe I should turn it on and back again. Because I've tried it over the years, turn it back on. Someone sends a message. I'm like, all right. Okay. Yes, I did defeat a human being. All right. There we go. I did manage to do it. Ridiculousness. All right, well, that guarantees me a spot somewhere. I Yeah, I can't sneak into the top 32. It's just not possible. You know, because top 32 is where you still get some of these. And you get three treasure chests. Nah, the best I can hop into would be like 41st place. Probably not even that, because this guy just won two. So the best I can maybe do is like 43, 44, which I'll still take getting half my, my entry fee back. That's that's fine with me. Um but yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad I'm able to finish this off on a positive uh, way. You know, it always turns these things are so difficult for me. These uh, challenges, like they're they're the, they're harder for me than like going to RCQs, PTQs, and even going to RCs. Like I struggle more here than I do at those. Like it's, it's I think this is like the best players you can play against all the time. It's we don't know who the hell is this guy. You know. Uh, Who's up here? Oh, the guy. This guy was undefeated going into this round, but Flamel88. I don't know who that is. Probably some amazing person. Look at these guys dropping at four and three. I guess they're just here for the top eight. Um, but you can still get good stuff at top 16, right? Yeah, 10 of these, 350 points, and 10 treasure chests. Hell yeah. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, that's going to do it for me. If you did watch this, uh, you know, you can always follow me on Twitch. You can always follow me on Twitter. But if you did watch this on YouTube, please remember subscribing to this video a thumbs up. That'd be really awesome. I'd really appreciate that. 
And I hope to see you all here sometime soon. I don't know when I'll be streaming next. I'm pretty busy. My schedule's actually upside down. I got to work third shift this week uh, coming up. So that's going to be challenging for me, but I can get through it. I know I can. So, all right, everybody, thanks for doing so much for watching. Everyone be safe out there. Eat some good food, drink some good beverage, spend time with your loved ones. A lot more important than hang out with me. And I hope to see you all sometime soon. All right, buddy. Peace.